In this video, we will be learning a method of calculating square roots with the help of prime factorization. And as always, we will do this with the help of an example. Let us take the square root of 2025. We all know that any number can be expressed as a product of its prime factors. So first of all, let us calculate the product of prime factors of this number 2025. So I have 2025. I can start dividing it by the lowest prime numbers. So 2025 cannot be divided by 2. Can it be divided by 3? So 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 2 is 9. So the sum is 9 which is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. So 3, if it divides 2025, you get 675. Now 675 is also divisible by 3. Let us divide it. On dividing, we get 225. Again, 225 is divisible by 3. So 3 times 75 is 225. Now 75 is again divisible by 3. 5 plus 7 is 12, which is divisible by 3. So 3 times 25 is 75. Now 25 is not divisible by 3. The next greater prime number is 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 2025 can be expressed as a product of prime factors and these are its prime factors. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 these are 1, 2, 3 and 4 threes times 5 times 5. And this is equal to we can group these numbers in squares. So this is equal to 3 square times 3 square times 5 square. Now we can take the under root of both the sides of equal to. Now on the right hand side it is equal to under root of 3 square times under root of 3 square times under root of 5 square. So the under root and the square gets cancelled out. So what remains is 3 times 3 times 5. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. And under root of 2025 is 45. Let us verify this with the help of a calculator. So 45 times 45 should come out as 2025. So 45 times 45 is equal to 2025. So our answer and our method is correct. Let us take another example. Let's calculate the under root of 250. So let's calculate the prime factors of 250 first. So we have 250, 250 is divisible by 2, so 2 times 125 is 250. Now 125 is not divisible by 3, it is divisible by 5. So 5 times 25 is 125 and 25 is 5 times 5. So the prime factors of 250 are 250 is equal to it can be written as a product of prime factors it is 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 now we can group this in squares so 5 and 5 can be grouped and 2 and 5 cannot be grouped so this is equal to 2 times 5 times 5 square right or this can be clubbed to form 10 5 twos are 10 times 5 square if we take the under root on both the sides of equal to, we get under root of 10 times 5 square, which is equal to 5 comes out of the root under root 10. So this is the final answer. This cannot be solved further. So I have a question for you now. You have to find out the square root of 984. So let us first calculate the prime factors of 984. So I have 984. It is divisible by 2. So 2 times 492 is 984. This again is divisible by 2. So 2 times 246 is 492. Again, 2 times 123 is 246. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3, so we can divide it by 3. So 3 times 4 are 12, 1 are 3. 3 times 41 is 123. And 41 is a prime number. So you cannot go further. 
So 984 can be written as a product of its prime factors. So they are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 41. Now this can be grouped as 2 square. This is as it is 2, 3 and 41. So it is equal to 2 square times 2 times 3 times 41. Now we can take the under root on both the sides of equal to. We have under root of 984 is equal to under root of 2 square times under root of 2 times under root of 3 times under root of 41. This is equal to taking the under root of 2 square we get 2. Then we have root 2, we cannot calculate it right now. Then root 3, then root 41. Of course, you can calculate the under roots of non perfect square numbers and these come out in decimal points. But right now we can keep it as it is because we have got our answer.